Hi, and welcome to your Urban Connection. Now, let me just get right into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that's coming to us from North Carolina. Mark Robinson, a name that I'm sure most of you will remember. He's a lieutenant governor in South Carolina, and he has filed a lawsuit against CNN, and he's using the defense of, now get this, because you're going to love this. He's accused them of engaging in a high-tech lynching. <laughs> now, where have I heard that before? Okay, well, most of you will remember that that was the charge that uh, was launched uh, back by the Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas when he was before the Congress with the allegations that he had sexually harassed Anita Hill. Now, that's the last time I've heard that high-tech lynching term used. But let me just tell you something. You know, there's a lot of similarities between Clarence Thomas and this guy, Mark Robinson. So let me tell you a little bit about what the similarities are. If you'll recall, those of you that were around at the time, when Clarence Thomas was alleged to have sexually abused or assaulted or whatever, uh, Anita Hill, she has stated that in her presence, he had used such terms as pubic hair on a Coke can, <laughs> Ding dong ding, <laughs> and other uh, lewd and lascivious terms alleging and leading up to sexual activity. Now, in this case, Mark Robinson, not only is he a lieutenant governor over there in uh, Carolina, but he is also allegedly a preacher. Now, CNN apparently dug up some files on Mr. Uh, Robinson when he was, I guess, out there in the world, I guess, I don't know. But anyhow, he was going to uh, pornographic movie theaters and uh, he was watching transgender sexual relations and he was enjoying himself. Now, yeah. he also was charged, it is alleged, by an employee of one such theater that not only did he come to the theater to watch these movies, but he also purchased a few to take home with him, <laughs> okay? Yeah, so this is just one of the things that they pointed out. But let me just tell you, now I'm going to use the word alleged on those, but I'm going to tell you some other things that he's done that are not alleged, because I've seen him come out of his mouth. I've seen this gentleman, and most of you have, on television using the term that he was a black Nazi. Okay, now not only did he say that he was a black Nazi, but he said he wished that slavery was still in existence because he would like to buy a couple for himself. Now this is Mark Robinson, candidate for governor in Carolina, right? North Carolina, I believe it's. maybe it's South Carolina. But anyhow, so can you believe this kind of behavior? And then he wants to file a lawsuit after he's exposed. And in the lawsuit, he's seeking $50 million, which he will never get. But let me just tell you a little bit. You see, he's using, trying to play out of the playbook that was used by Clarence Thomas. But there's one major distinction here that I want to point out to the audience and to Mr. Robinson. You see, Mr. Robinson, that playbook that you're attempting to play out of will get you nowhere. Now, why do I say that? 
You see, when Mr. Uh, Uncle Tom, I mean Uncle Thomas, when Uncle Clarence Thomas used that term, he was before a congressional hearing. You, sir, are attempting to use that in a court of law. And where he was able to use that and get away with it, there's no way in the heck that your claim is going to apply in a court of law for two reasons. Number one, sir, the CNN, according to them, has plenty of documentation. Okay? And they're not backing down. As a matter of fact, they're doubling up. So the evidence is there. They have the subpoena power. They will bring forth the witnesses and the evidence that they have, which you see, the Congress did not do against Clarence Thomas. See, there were several other women that wanted to confirm and validate that what Anita Hill went through, they went through the same thing. But if you remember, Joe Biden at that time was in charge of the hearing. And Joe Biden refused to bring forth some of these other women who could confirm and validate for the charges that Anita Hill was bringing forth. That's not going to happen in a court of law, sir, <laughs> okay? Because they will subpoena, okay? They will use the video evidence that they have, the words that you have said on television, which I have seen and many others have seen, sir, you cannot avoid that. You cannot deny that that is you on tape using that kind of language. You cannot deny, sir, the allegations that you've used telling the women that if they don't want to have babies, they should keep their legs closed. Okay? Sir, they've got the evidence. You're not going to escape this drug, and you're not going to get $50 million. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what. I don't even think your case will go to court because I think once they start talking about summary judgment, and they start talking, start talking about looking at the evidence, sir, I don't think that you will have a shot at even going to court. I don't think you want to go to court, uh, Mr. Robinson. Now, let me just show you. I'm going to put up a picture here of Mr. Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Robinson right here, okay? This is a man that's filed a $50 million lawsuit against CNN for defamation. Now, in the first place, if you are a public figure, it's very, very, very tough for you to win a defamation case. But in a case such as this, even if you are a public figure and you want to say that that was not you on the television that we all saw, if you want to say that that was not you, that the clerk at the store that you were watching these videos from, if you want to say that that was not you, then this man has clearly identified you because you went there not once, but you went there several times, Mr. Robinson. He's identified you. You've got a history, you've got a pattern, sir. And when you look at what has been uncovered with you using your voice that we all see, it's very difficult for us to believe that these are made up stories against you, sir. I understand you're losing this race for governor. You're losing it badly. And I understand <laughs> that why you want to sue, because you know that you've lost this race. You're never going to be the governor of either North or South Carolina, either one of them, sir. But I just want you to know that using that playbook of Clarence Thomas, talking about a high-tech lynching, and Clarence Thomas went on to say, high-tech lynching of an uppity black man, and that's exactly the game you're trying to play here. It won't work, sir. This is 2024, okay? Everything has changed, all right? And I'm going to tell you, you're not up for being nominated for a seat on the Supreme Court. You're not going before the Congress to seek approval. No, sir. You're taking your case to court, a court of law. And in the United States, sir, I understand that you're innocent until proven guilty, but I don't think you're going to take this far enough to allow CNN to prove your guilt. I think that you're going to back away from this 
the minute they start talking, I mean, look, if your attorney has half a brain, he will never, ever allow you to go through summary judgment because they will hammer you, okay, with evidence, with witness testimony, okay, with your own words. So, Mark Robinson, I would suggest you lost in the political arena. You lost the support of your number one advocate, Donald J. Trump. Even he won't touch you with a 10-foot pole now, sir. He doesn't want to be seen with you. You've become just another one of his black puppets. He's teased you, he's used you, and he's abused you. And now he's throwing you away, okay? I doubt he would even return your phone call. As a matter of fact, he might have changed his phone number that you have, okay? So you've lost everywhere, and you're on your way to losing in a court of law, Mr. Robinson. So I would suggest that you, at this time, withdraw your lawsuit, Tell your attorney that you changed your mind, you've had a change of heart, that you don't want to go forward with this. Because you don't want the whole world to see all of the evidence and the proof that they have against you. That's CNN, okay? And CNN is no dummy, sir. They're not going to put out a report like this without having verified, confirmed, and have sufficient evidence to back them up, Okay? So you have jumped into the hot tub, sir, and the water has begun to boil, all right? So I would suggest that you take my advice and use common sense. Don't spend a lot of attorney fees, okay, thinking that you're going to hit the jackpot because you're not about... If you get $50, you'll be lucky, let alone $50 million. I'm sorry. Sorry to put it to you this way, sir. But I will tell you this. As uh, as uh, I once heard uh, a presidential uh, vice president say to another, I know Jack Kennedy. I served with Jack Kennedy. You know Jack Kennedy. And Mr. Robinson, I can tell you, I know of Clarence Thomas. I've seen Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas was guilty, <laughs> okay? And you're no Clarence Thomas. So you're not going to win. You're not even playing in the same field he was playing in. I feel sorry. Well, no, I don't either. I can't say that. You made your bed. Now you must lay in it. Okay? Nobody did it but you. You have nobody to blame. If there was a high-tech lynching, sir, you lynched yourself with your very own words. All right? So, sorry. Bye-bye. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.